how can you anatomically classify neurons as multipolar bipolar pseudo unipolar and unipolar tell me a place where we can find bipolar neurons retina of the eye if a driver can't see the vehicles on his right and left sides what could be the defect in his eye field bitemporal hemianopia how can a tumor in hypophyseal fossa cause this condition the tumor can compress optic chasma where visual impulses from both nasal retina cross to other side so nasal retina are affected as information from temporal visual fields falls on the nasal retina it affect temporal visual fields leading inability to view peripheral vision what are the other nearby structures that can get affected third ventricle hypothalamic nuclei above the pituitary gland pituitary gland cavernous sinus what are the nerves related to lateral wall of the cavernous sinus ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve trochlear nerve and oculomotor nerve tell me the pathway of oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve emerges on the anterior surface of the midbrain in the interpeduncular fossa and passes to middle cranial fossa in the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus it divides into two divisions which then enter to orbital cavity through superior orbital fissure Levator palpebris superioris and superior rectus muscles are supplied by superior division of the oculomotor nerve. Inferior rectus, medial rectus and inferior oblique muscles are supplied by inferior division of oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve also contain parasympathetic fibers which accompany main nerve and then inferior division of the nerve. They synapse in ciliary ganglion and post ganglionic fibers pass through short ciliary nerves to constrictor pupillae and ciliary muscles. What are the muscles that act to produce accommodation reflex? Ciliary muscles, medial rectus, constrictor pupillae muscle. What happens when levator palpebral superioris muscle is paralyzed? Ptosis. You told about four extraocular muscles. What about the nerve supply of other two muscles? Superior oblique muscle is supplied by trochlear nerve. Lateral rectus muscle is supplied by abducens nerve. What is the action of superior oblique muscle? It moves eyeball downward and laterally. What are the complaints of the patients with trochlear nerve damage? difficulty in walking downstairs difficulty in reading newspapers what are the structures connected via medial longitudinal fasciculus vestibular and cochlear nuclei with oculomotor trochlear and abducens nuclei what is the importance of that connection it allows to coordinate conjugate movements of eyes associated with head and neck movements What is the function of frontal eye field? It controls voluntary scanning movements of eye independent of visual stimuli. So what is responsible for involuntary tracking movements of eyes when following a moving object? Occipital eye field. Where are our primary and secondary visual areas are located? Primary visual area is located in the walls of posterior part of the calcarine sulcus on occipital lobe. Secondary visual area surrounds the primary visual area on medial and lateral surfaces of hemisphere. What is the function of secondary visual area? It relates visual information received by primary visual area to post visual experiences. so an individual can recognize and appreciate what he sees what are the locations of primary motor area and primary somatosensory area primary motor area occupies precentral sulcus primary somatosensory area occupies postcentral sulcus